Here to tell us about a little boy who police say starved to death, the tragic discovery happening on Christmas Day. His own mother now among five people arrested. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is in Fort Lauderdale with the disturbing details. Janine. And four of those people arrested are being held here at the Broward County Jail without bond. Details of this little boy's short life and death, according to investigators, is devastating. Frantic 911 calls on Christmas Day when seven year old Deontay Atwell was reported unresponsive inside his Fort Lauderdale home. Tell me exactly what happened. Uh, my nephew, he's on the breathalyzer. He's not uh, responding too well right now. He's like, we, we need an uh, ambulance now. Fast forward to Tuesday, a cavalry of police back at the house arresting people they say are responsible for starving him to death. He had gaping holes um, from bed sores where he had his bones were protruding. At autopsy, he weighed seven pounds. Investigators say Atwell was born with a multitude of medical issues, including spina bifida. <laughs> requiring a breathing and a feeding tube. Instead, they say he was neglected. Police reportedly finding more than 260 bottles of his feeding formula unopened. Five people taken to jail, including Mother Michelle Doe, who even set up a GoFundMe to raise money, and this registered nurse. This child did not receive any of that skilled nursing care. Had the child received those services, he would not be dead or weighing seven pounds at the time of his death. I'm going to stand the line with you as long as I can. Just watch him very closely and look for any changes. <laughs> Investigators say Deontay was likely already dead when people at the house called for help. Well, according to the ER doctor, he had been dead for quite some time. It's sad to say that Deontay had suffered all the way through his death by the people that were supposed to be caring for him the most. And there are also allegations of Medicaid fraud. According to investigators, a nurse billed for services that were never rendered. As for the child's mother, she is expected to face a judge tomorrow. We're in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 Just News.